Well, well, there's a big difference between, um, you know, continuing to build on one chain versus building on, on other chains. And I have to be honest with you, I don't think it's, you know, down the road that it was a bad idea to experiment with multiple blockchains because how many mistakes have we figured out by some of these chains and coins that have failed over the years? Like, oh, let's not do this because remember when Namecoin tried this and it didn't work. Or remember when, yeah. you know, Purecoin tried this and it didn't work. I, I, I bet you like a lot of the developers are having these conversations on a day-to-day -day basis. So like, you know, do you agree with me on that or do you disagree? No, no, I, I, I totally agree. I think that, um, you know, this is also what gets me like, upset you know about seeing in the community um even you know ethereum like releasing something or talking about something innovative and you know everyone are like yeah it's it's shit coin and all of those things like you know those people are really innovating and and there are, there are so many other um um coins and, and and protocols and projects that are doing some amazing work and it's all good for us like what is the goal why did you join you know, uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, is it because of Bitcoin? It's because of the greater idea of changing how finance work. And for me, it's, you know, it's, it's about that. It's about the new type of finance and, and really change how the financial system work. Um, and, and because I was experienced that with my work as a trader in different investment firms, etc., I just got discussed from everything and how it works today. So for me, it's, it's all about that. It's not specifically about Bitcoin. Very interesting point. Um, I like I like how you kind of frame that, and I like you know what you're saying. Um, essentially, like we have to to expand and to grow and to allow different people to experiment on on different things. And I I think I agree with that. And you know, seems like you you do too. Um, how has a put the progression been so you go so you now you go back to the rabbit hole for a second so you're so you're reading these emails you're reading the 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 email of your ceo and um you're hearing about this bitcoin thing most people um that were involved in those days myself included we were just looking to like play around with this thing and build like fun services on top of bitcoin right we weren't yeah. uh thinking about what you were thinking about and and i, I kind of want to like dig deep into your brain and understand why it's like it's like i equate it to like in the 90s you know, talking about the internet, people are talking then, you'd have, you'd come out and say, yeah, the internet's going to be cool, but we're going to have artificial intelligence one day. And it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? We don't even have DSL, you know? That's kind of like how, why, what was, not what was wrong, but I mean, yes, when Satoshi had originally wrote the code, he left a little space for metadata, right? Like, so you can, yeah. you can start to, to, and who knows, maybe that a lot of people were saying that was for video games, for maybe poker. There was, cause there was poker code in the original Bitcoin code. Do you remember there's a line the, for poker? It's uh, in the op return field. Yeah. What other cool, cool things like that, that, you know, people don't really know about, like, uh, you know, when you're looking at the original Satoshi code, what kind of, uh, thoughts would you gather for like how he perceived bitcoin to be down the road so so for me you know getting into this rabbit hole um first it was I, i'm a vision type of guy like for me you know tell me your vision um and i will follow and i think that for me it was less about the technical parts it was more about you know there is an idea here about looking at things in a different way and because uh, don't forget that you know, your background is a little bit different. I came from trading gold and trading um, stocks and all that. So for me, immediately when I looked at that and I read it, I was like, okay, how are we going to use that to um, kind of change the world that I'm living in today? Um, and this is where it wasn't only me. Yeah, it's important to say it was uh, It was also Yoni Asia, many roles yeah. of uh, all the... Um, um, Alex Mizrahi, and then um, who is not Israeli, by the way, Mizrahi, but he's, he's in Ukraine, um, and Vitalik, and then so many other people, uh, very very good people. Um, so so I think that because I came from from that uh, background, this is why immediately for me, I try to understand how are we going to build this extra layer to issue a gold asset, and I issued I issued actually a real gold asset. On top of uh, Bitcoin in, in in the end already of 2012, maybe beginning of 2013, 
Um, and, you know, when Colu even uh, launched, like we had in 2014, um, um, uh, Intel developing application on top of the platform and Wells Fargo, and like all of those big use cases that everyone talking today, they were already on top of, of, of the protocol and the SDK that we developed in 2014, uh, 2015, sorry.